Okay, hang on. You know, I think on some level, oh, I'm like, oh, hi, Janice. I'm gonna get uh, being into it. I think some level, you're asking yourself, okay, is a dog acting in free agency? If it's not, if it's all droopy, ready to be a jerk. You know, like that dog, Reva. If you said, what did you start making it sit, pushing its butt? Oh my God, no. You know, it's, it's like building a house. When people say, oh, your foundation training. Yeah, I had a house built. Uh, they have to make sure the dirt they're putting the foundation on is solid first so that the foundation doesn't crumble <laughs> So if you said so we have to have something to build a foundation on yeah, that's where you're starting. That's your subtext And that's your motion and this dog has a default down I can tell right away when they haven't done the default down like with Teresa And so I don't believe her that the dog does a command it down because it's didn't do it by default But at least she admits it and still brings the dog here so this dog does have the default down. And what I'm saying to myself, you've seen this thing take off. I mean, if you said they are the epitome of wide open, they do. When they run, they are wide open. They've got very explosive speed. And if you said, does every dog, some have more than others. <laughs> I mean. You know, some have more than others. That one video of those four German Shepherds, that black German Shepherd, Bara, if you said, what's the difference? That thing was out of a working champion. I gotta get a hold of that guy, Steve, and find out what that dog's name was. But if you said, what about those other ones? High show lines. So if you said, what's the difference? High show lines are only shown at a trot. Hours and hours of trotting. And they don't, well, they do do like a courage test, but. That's the difference. So if you said genetically, the one has different muscles or something, if they really, yeah, I think it would. I think it would. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna go find that video, but that thing is just scary fast. And so we have to just say, some dogs are more capable of explosive speed and Rottweilers are those dogs. And people don't under, seem to understand that when the stuff goes down, it's gonna happen real fast. The, the percentage of people that just freeze when something happens is reasonably high. I can show you videos, dog fights, whatever. People just freeze. It's almost like you're just witnessing, you know, you're just looking at like a video or something. It's what happens to people. Am I wrong, Mike? They just sort of freeze and then they're just sort of an observer. They're not able to take action. I don't know, Breck told me about it one time because he told me from the police academy or whatever, there's just like these different zones or whatever that you're in. And you're gonna get different various adrenaline dumps and whatever into your body. And that's what I tell people. If you get into a situation where you're trying to stop a dog fight or something, you've got X amount of time before this adrenaline wears off and you go into sugar shock. If you said then, well, yeah, your, your muscles won't even move. You've, you've just physically are tapped out. <sighs> I don't even know what to tell people. It's true. Okay, so even now, I still haven't even said anything. <laughs> I haven't said anything. And it's a chicken liver dog. I knew that from the beginning. The very, I'll go find the very, first, the very first video. It ran away. If you said it clearly thinks it has something to do with jumping the platform, clearly. <laughs> if you said, where did it get that idea? It could have only gotten it from me. All right, so look, I've got my, just a page or leash. I understand, yes, Mike, these people are not getting it at all. <laughs> If you're not even able to structure a page or leash, you're not gonna be able to get the rest of this crap. And you're not gonna be able to get these dogs off leash. You're not gonna be able to get them off leash. Yay, yay. It's hopeless. 
Anyway, this dog, remember, I used to not be able to get the collar on it. It would struggle due to Brick's get the collar on methodology, which was basically... No, then he'd make it sit. Then he'd make it sit to get it on. All right, hang on, my hand's slimy. Yeah, I still can't find the remote for that other collar. I'm just gonna have to buy another. Oh, I could use these as yeah, this is like this. Right, this is like this. Yeah, it actually doesn't even fit, hang on. I got a bigger one. I think once they see, you don't have any ability to move fast. Oh, Jesus, don't even say that, Alice. It's got a Hello Kitty lanyard on it, so it's gotta be somewhere. Anyway, the job one, oh my God, I gotta send you that guy's service dog video too, Alice. Dale McCluskey, what a fraud. Doesn't believe in using food. If you said, why do you have to use food? I mean, everyone trains and drive. I don't, I don't know anyone. If you said, what about retriever trainers? Yeah, they train and drive. They train and retrieve drive. <laughs> so I've already got this hooked together. Singular piece of equipment. So I'm not looking. Feeding that line out. I haven't said anything yet. I just said do it without saying anything. All right. <laughs> you said, what does it need? It needs to be bent. It needs to be bent, so if you said short now, give it more leash. It is. It's just, it's just all kinds of loaded up energy. I'm sorry. I know I should have done this beforehand. Okay, so if you say, what am I saying to myself? I better tighten it up. Let me see if I got my chalk. You know, if you don't, honestly. Oh, hi, Juliet. My girl, I, it wasn't you. I just. I'm just, I'm vowing not to suggest anything or make any more of my observations. It never goes well. No one believes me. And then they just think, I don't know what I'm talking about. 
After this kitty as I saw today, oh my god, this guy's gone on and on and on and made these detailed analysis of these Danny Wells. I mean, it's almost like it's a little bit too obsessed with this guy. Yeah, I mean, I say he doesn't know what he's doing, but he's cute, at least. <laughs> he is cute. All right, so I need to do a healing pattern. If I've got all this energy, but I can't steer it precisely enough, if you said, should you correct the dog? No, it's a very soft temperament dog. It can't handle any corrections. If I show you the very first video, it got scared because of a dog that made a big splash and it ran away, completely away, gone. So I think you should start with two points and it's got to be, it's got to run, and this, that's what I saw. As soon as I saw that Dale McCluskey thing, Mike, Oh, hi, Marui. Uh, then he was doing the counterclockwise circles. And if you said, should any of our drill, healing drills involve counterclockwise circles? Not that I'm aware of. <laughs> Not that I'm aware of. All your healing drills should be traveling north, south, or east, west. Not, not counterclockwise circles. I don't understand other than they're trying to just crowd the dog into not foraging. Yeah, as soon as I see someone doing that, then I say, what the hell? You've got to travel in straight lines. And if you said, why? Look at when you go to Lowe's. Look at when I go to Lowe's. Look at when you go to the shopping center or whatever. If you said, well, there's winding trails. Oh, Jesus Christ. All right, so the main point is there is a stop right here. I can stop the dog with the collar, too. And I can make it go or I can make it stop. And if you said, why does it have a sit? Because I don't usually don't teach them a sit, and I, I don't remember why it has a sit. Because I usually don't teach them a sit. So it's got one, um, it's got one word for, you know, to get it to come to me, which is its name. So if I'm picking up the leash, I'm getting it right there. And if you said, how, how long is six foot? And I'm planning on working the whole thing. Yay. So you're just kind of starting right here. Yay. It's just like dancing. If you said, well, it overshot it. So it's because, I mean, you need to make the pattern small in the beginning. If you said, why, well, you're not doing it fast in the beginning. You're just, you know. So I'm adding the pager right there. If you said every time, yes, every time. So if you said, how many times should you do it? You're looking at in the hundreds, you guys. If you said, if somebody says, can you train the dog? I said, I've trained hundreds of dogs. Don't worry. Not, oh, I, I trained two dogs. So if you said, what do I like? It's feet. So it's throwing its feet up. Watch its grow feet. But now she's getting the stop. I'm not telling her to sit. Maybe that's why I did a sit, it just did it. So if you said, now speed it up. But if you said, now what? Now you have to get going the other direction. I think it backs up. But if you said, what am I looking at? I'm looking at getting it behind that pink line. That's the stop. And then that's the stop. Mm. 
must have just sat on it. So I normally don't teach him to sit, I swear I don't. So if you said, I like its feet. And you know what, if you said, what should the dog's internal dialogue be? Ah, oh, we've done this pattern hundreds of times. We've done this pattern hundreds of times. So that's the dog's internal dialogue. And if you said, are you using the leash for corrections? No, I'm using it to augment the pager. And I think that's what we have to think of. Or right, it's gonna lay down and look at her. I mean, that was a lot of physicality for the dog. If you said, well, it's going, to, going a lot faster than you because you were on the inside. Yes, that's why you don't want to do the counterclockwise thing. If you're putting the dog on the outside, if you went and said, we're going to try out for a drill team, they said me, and I said, me and my dog want to try out for the drill team. They're going to sit there and say, we're going to put the dog on the outside because we've noticed it's faster than you. And you're pretty slow, and it's ungodly fast. <laughs> Yay. So me picking up the leash, the dog is saying... I tightened everything up just by doing that little pattern. I could have gotten out there when it was jumping around all crazy, start trying to do corrections. I'm not gonna do that. You just have to have this little pattern. And the dog needs to say, oh, I know this stuff. I've done it a hundred times. So I'm using the paper to say go. And it's saying stop by the fact I'm stopping it. All right, watch. Now push it this way. Uh -oh. I'm going to push it back behind this pink line. And it got its foot untangled. Whoops. Ah! Am I even in the shot? Am I not even in the shot? So if you said, well, it works with that, yes, it works with that. Image, so. Uh, if you said, because it's so loaded up, you should work on your pattern. Yeah, you should work on your pattern. <sighs> if you said, what about corrections? You're not giving me corrections. I'm just looking at that pink line. <sighs> if you said, can it see the pink line? It, it doesn't see the pink line, but it sees me having a very particular body language and rewarding a very specific being parallel to the handler. Anyway, it's a nice little dog, so it, it you know, it, if you said that wasn't a good, obviously it was a good workout for the dog. These can't take very much heat, but if you said it's not putting a lot into it, it is. It's putting a lot into it. So the treat's always gonna happen on that pink line. It's always gonna happen on that pink line. And if you said, what about the sit? I'm, I honestly think maybe with this dog, it just started doing it. So I started rewarding the sit because most of my, unless, I, unless I'm, the ones that I did the trained retrieve on, I mean, I would put a set on them. But anyway, you guys, hang on. Let me run through a few more. But I think you can see. And it's got a recall out the wazoo. And if you said, well, it seems kind of slow. Like it's not moving that fast. And so you see how fast it can move. If I tried to, whoops. If, if I tried to train, it was only going at this speed. It was circling slower. Yay. If you said, what do you want? I want it to turn and face me. If you said, how do I do that? I'll just turn away a little bit. Anyway. 
All right, let me put this one up. There he goes. He turns and faces me. And I will be right back. But, you know, if you said that wasn't a good workout, it was. The dog was putting all of its energy into it. He's more tired than me. If you said, well, you were just making it seem like, yes, I was making it seem like I was going real fast on those little turns and stuff. If you said, were you? Not really. <laughs> Not really. I wasn't going fast at all. I wasn't going anywhere. I was just turning in place. You know, and the dog had to go the whole outer circle, so it's taking more steps. All right, hang on, I'll be right